we need to talk. We need to talk about your guitar progress, my guitar progress, and anyone's guitar progress. There comes a time in the life of a guitar player where we feel stuck. We feel we're not progressing as fast as we did when we first started. Maybe we didn't progress very fast when we started, but at some point we realized that we're not progressing the way that we should. Uh, grab your coffee. This is not really going to be a guitar lesson. This is going to be a talk that is really going to help your guitar playing. I promise. Give me a few minutes. After this video, you'll be on the right track to reclaim your guitar. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, let's talk. Hi, this is David. This channel is all about helping you express yourself on the guitar. That's key. Express yourself, not express yourself as if you were Joe Satriani or, or Jeff Beck or Jimmy. No, you. You need to have that confidence. Now, there's a line. It's easy to cross that line sometimes. There's a line between pure arrogance I'm the best guitar player in the whole world. Nobody can compete with me. And, and all that vocabulary, you know, competition, better, faster, anything with er at the end is on that side of the line. And on the other side of the line is maybe where you're falling. Most of us fall there where you're like, I'm not as good as, mm, or I'm not inspired, or I don't have enough time to practice, or I'm just a bedroom guitar player. All those things. You see what I'm talking about? That line. And you need a little bit of discipline, mental discipline, to navigate in that line. I became very aware of that line a few years back. I was working for an online guitar teaching company, and part of my job was to transcribe solos and, and songs and teach them in a video format. I was exposed to a lot of different music, a lot of different genres. One of the songs I had to teach was a Nirvana song. I can't remember which one, but at some point I had to transcribe a solo. I don't know if you've ever tried to transcribe a solo from Kurt Cobain, but good luck. I was not able to do it. I faked it, but it was really, really difficult. That tell, told me a few things. It told me that Kurt didn't plan his solo. I wouldn't call Kurt a great guitar player but he's a great communicator. And we all know at least one Nirvana song. And that told me that, he, well, that line where you have like arrogant guitar players and very um, humble, like two humble guitar players. Well, Kurt was like in that line, I think. He didn't really care. He knew there were people that were better technically. He knew that there were players who were less advanced Maybe they knew one chord instead of the two chords that Kurt knew. I say this with a lot of love because I love Nirvana's music now. Bottom line, Kurt was in his line and he was fine with it. And that were great. He was making music, being satisfied. Okay, back to our situation right now. I feel kind of weird not having a guitar in my, on my lap. Yeah, that gave me the boost that I needed to be okay playing with other people. Being okay in my spot, playing with others. Here's the thing. When I started playing in the mid 90s, um, I was young and maybe immature, more immature than I am now. And all right, um, full confession, I wanted to get, be a guitar player. Oh, I love music, but I was also appealed to the idea of the guitar virtuoso rock star. I basically wanted to boost my ego with guitar solos. There it is. That's what it was. That meant that when I approached music, I always wanted to be the lead guitar player. Uh, keep in mind, I was 15, okay? <laughs> I'm 44 now, so difference. But I wanted to be the lead guitar player. I wanted people to uh, serve, uh, serve me. I wanted to, th them to play well behind, but not too interesting, enough to make me interesting. And oh my gosh, that created so many problems. Not anymore. I think the way to, to solve this and to progress faster 
is first of all to tell yourself that you are an essential part of a collective group of we'll call them people instruments and the end result is the end result altogether no one should stand out no one should stand less you are part of the same body okay there is a body you might be a hand from that body or a foot. Christianity talks about that a lot where we're all part of the same body. Well, same musically. If you approach it that way, that's first of all going to, to help you put things in perspective. Second of all, it's gonna help you progress faster because it's going to give you healthy paths of learning. So let's say that you are focusing on technique. I wanna be a, more, a better player, I wanna play faster. And if my end result is to glorify myself, you know, if you're on that side of the line, then you're gonna spend hours and hours working on developing the fast licks and the micro technique and things like that. Eventually, you're gonna go down a rabbit hole that never ends and you're not gonna progress because you're gonna be stuck on small little things that nobody's gonna hear. You're just gonna be absorbed in your own little world. Little things as maybe, um, oh, here, if I do an upstroke instead of a downstroke, that's what I wanna work on. And you work on this and you end up working hundreds of hours on that. And in the end, you're not gonna become a better musician. You're gonna be a better upstroker, okay? Now, let's go back to that line. Let's bring that mindset to the line. Now, if you wanna play, let's say you still wanna play technique faster, work on your alternate picking, but the goal is to really be in sync with what the bass player is doing. And you wanna copy his line so that it's more coherent. Great, now you're gonna focus on listening to what the bass player is doing. You're gonna focus more on the outcome instead of that upstroke. You still wanna work on making things efficient technically, but it's gonna be a lot more healthy and people are gonna notice a difference in your playing a lot faster and you, in result of that, are, are, you are going to feel better about yourself, but in a healthy, in a healthy way. You're gonna feel uh, loved. <laughs> it's all about love, it all comes back to that. But not loved as this, like the king, but loved as this part of musicians. And even if you're playing over a backing track, you, we, we still have musicians in our track. You got the drummer getting the count, the guitar. You're trying to be part of that experience. Experience. And even if you don't play, that's okay, they're playing. You're part of the experience. That's a lot more musical because I'm listening to this than uh, just trying to fit the licks that I worked on so much. Uh, for hours, but I was in, on the other side of the line, and therefore I'm like. <sighs> I'm making mistakes because I'm getting in my own head, but no, I'm just enjoying it. Trying to blend in. What I'm playing here would be nothing without that. And what they're playing is complemented what I'm playing with what I'm playing. I'm adding a lot of heart in what I'm playing. It's not standard written, it's not uh, mechanical. It's me. Okay, if anything, I hope this encourages you to really be okay with who you are musically. Even if you can't play of the perfect sweep, so what? You are still you and every note you play, if you manage to add a little bit of yourself in what you're playing, people are gonna love it. I love who you are because of who you are. Uh, see, I feel like I'm Mr. Rogers <laughs> and you're my neighbor. No. Really, music is something to enjoy. There's no ego. There shouldn't be any ego. If there is, well, you're missing out, and I don't want you to miss out on the joy of music. If you like this, if you want to discover a little bit more about who you are musically, and you want to play melodically from the heart, well, it all starts from within. And to help you bring out these ideas, I have a formula. I call it the melodic theme formula, and I have a free workshop teaching you all of that stuff. It's a lot more practical where you get our guitar. You can watch it for free right here. Thanks for watching this video, and if you've already seen this, stick around for another one. Practice well. Be yourself.